Hello today, I am going to show you how drill motors work. This one, <coughs> excuse me, is out of a regular drill. This is 7.2 volts, so it's an older model. Because generally uh, they don't have those anymore. Now, this is how they get so much torque out of such a excuse me, motor. They have this gearbox on here. And I'm going to show you how this gearbox works. It's quite unique in the fact that most gearboxes are um, the ones I've seen aren't typically like this. They're not inline. This is a direct inline shaft with the motor gearbox. And it's really interesting how they work. I'll show you. I've had this, these particular gearboxes apart several times, so I know what I'm doing. So, yeah, I've had lots of practice. Let's see if I can get this apart. All right, that's apart. That's what the, um, I don't know if you can see that there. Let me check, make sure you can see everything. Here, I'll zoom in a bit so you can see that better. Anyway, this is um, the gear which drives this. The gearbox, of course. And what's really interesting is what's inside. Let's see if I can pop it apart here. here. Yes. Don't tell me it's not going to cooperate. I've had this apart several times before. Give me a moment. I gotta grab. I'll grab another tool. Uh, pop it apart but what lies behind this spacer here washer spacer don't tell me this is not going to come apart today some days these just fall apart see the holes I'm punching these are from that I'll get another gearbox and that'll come apart for you. Mm. Alright, this is what I have right now. So let's pop this apart. This particular unit, I dread taking apart because it has extra parts to it. As you can see, I made a mounting bracket to mount it. Don't need that now. All right. Now I just if the video stops, it's because my camera batteries are really low at the moment. I'm just trying to run them down a little bit more before I recharge them. Alright. Oh, this one's going to come apart real nice. Alright. Now you see that? Same thing. They're all the same. All well, these two particular craftsmen's. But if you look here, here, the gears ride in here on a female gear I guess you'd call it and this little gear goes in there in between these gears and what this does is it takes a small gear and essentially it's equivalent of putting a small gear up next to a big gear to gear it down um, but except in this case you can't do that in a drill motor because now it's not in line with the motor 
Now, there is most of the drill motors I've taken apart have two sets. Here's the other set, which is equivalent of putting that big gear to, um, let me th think how to describe that. Put that big gear to a, or having that big gear attached to a little gear and putting that little gear up to another large gear. That's what this is the equivalent to. Let's see if I can pop that out. Something tells me it's not coming out today. Um, Out. I just, I'm just taking this apart to show you guys because it's really quite interesting how they come apart. Just a female gear in there, which usually just pop out. But today it's nothing's cooperating with me to, this morning. I don't know why. Oh, here it goes. All right, this is the big female gear that all these little gears ride in and what causes if you ever seen the ones that have the adjustment for the slip so they for the torque setting that that's where these holes come in they usually have ball bearings riding in here this particular unit doesn't have them however this unit had them I did a slight little modification and took them out and forced this piece up in here so that way the bumps would be right in there where the balls go so that way I have no slippage and this is made to not have any slippage because see these are these are um, pegs and they're designed to fit in that hole and this other last unit here is attached directly to uh, to the shaft and in here are the bearings in case you wondered now that's how the slip works and to put this all back together all you gotta do is just put that in and make sure that those pegs line up which I feel by trying to turn they don't they line up right now now I remember how these gears go in order because typically the uh, lighter duty gears seems like they put those closer toward the motor now typically most of these motors I've seen only have or have a have the um, have two sets of gears. And I don't know what the gear ratios, but I'm going to take a. I'm just going to shoot in the arc at two to one or something like that, or one to three to gear it down. See how that goes together? Just there's a gear on the back side which inserts there. So this sometimes takes a bit to. There it goes. Anyway, hey, what was it saying? Oh yeah, uh, these. The, I have, they typically have two, but I have seen ones where they have three sets of these gears. Um, those are usually the uh, ones with uh, more, let me find a rag here. Those are typically the ones with more torque. Um, and they usually have larger motors. Let's see if I can find one here quick. I just took it apart yesterday. Um, I cannot find it right at the moment for some reason. But, um, yeah, I've seen them where they have up to 
three um, three sets of gears and a motor that's probably about much larger than this I'm going to take a shot in the dark at uh, two-thirds or something I don't know I don't even know but a bigger motor with a bigger shaft um, with uh, truck with uh, with three sets of gears those are usually the higher torque ones at least the ones that say high torque or whatever at least the one I have in particular there might be some lower end ones that have it but I'm just telling you what I've experienced with uh, taking these uh, these motors out of these drills and people may wonder why I'm doing this it's because most of the batteries in these aren't any good I only paid a few dollars for them literally I think I have about I'm gonna I think I got about four motors and I have a there are four uh, cordless drills for about eight dollars so that's about two so I can pick these up really cheap and they I like them because they come with this gearbox for the gear reduction and um, I have projects I want to use these for <coughs> currently the only problem I'm having is how to fit how to attach a shaft to what I want to use it on. Um, this particular unit though doesn't have it, but the ones with the ball bearings, like this one I was telling you about, um, typically in the head here, you know how you twist them? Well usually, I don't have one here at the moment, I don't know where it went. Usually in here there's a spring and that's what controls the tension on the bearings which um, that still won't come apart so I can't show you remember the nubs those uh, round pegs on that at um, female gear well they're not pegs on these units the ones that are designed to slip they are a um, They're a, uh, they're like a little bump, and it's designed so oh the heart so the ball can roll over them for the slippage. And the harder the ball is pushing it, the harder it is to roll over them. And that's how the spring tension works and all the other good stuff. And I don't really like those ones because they take away from my. Um, torque because now there's slippage and I do not like that one bit especially for my current projects I'm doing or whatever that require full torque I like the full torque where I'll kill the motor before and stop the motor before the um, before it quits turning so that's what I like and I like the drill motors because they have another reason why I like them besides the fact they come with these nice gear boxes is that they have variable speed uh, they're variable speed and they uh, what else variable speed and reverse control you can reverse them so that's what I like about these so and that's essentially how the motor and the that's how a drill motor gearbox works that's what they look like inside and I've seen them with up to three like I told you and they work the same way so far all the drill motors all the drill motor gearboxes I have taken apart they're 
all the same. If not the same, they're all very similar. And I have taken apart a Craftsman, um, a Ryobi, and some other cheap off-brand, cheap off-brand and power all or whatever you want to call it. So I've had some experience. And I am very interested in getting more of these because I'm kind of stockpiling them for my current project and future projects. So if you got any ideas where to get them cheap, like I said, I'm essentially been getting them for two dollars a piece or cheaper. Um, and that's what my goal is is to get them like that. Currently, I have. Three 7.2 volts and one 18 volter. So I am always looking for more motors within the 